Yo, what's up friends? Welcome back to the channel. As always, my name is Anton and hopefully all of you guys are having a fantastic day because we're going to be returning to one of my favorite bands nowadays, uh, Skillet. And this is a standing in the storm, so you guys know how much I love Skillet. I'm pumped for this. And as always, before we get into this one, I do want to mention to all of you guys, if you have any artists you want me to check out, leave a comment down below. And if you want to vote on what artists come on the channel every single week, third link down below to join the Discord and take part in those votes. Also, if you just want to hang out with myself and the entire ArcVision community, we'd love to have you around. So third link down below to join the Discord. Also, um, if you guys want to support the channel and request songs and check out our full album reactions, first link down below to join the Patreon. And that's it. So let's get into Skillet, Standing in the Storm. Way different than I was expecting. Okay, that's kind of cool. So, so far, I'm I'm in the middle with this one. I like it, but I don't love it yet. I, I really like the lyrics. Like I always like stuff like this. I like, you know, because again, even if you don't, you know, pay attention to the lyrics, you can feel the spirit of the lyrics just in the music. Just that defines that standing in the storm, being a better person, despite what he'd been through. Now, the cool thing I've noticed about John is that he's actually like, you know, maybe he doesn't have the craziest vocal range. Um, I love his voice, but like he, you know, he's not necessarily like a Corey Taylor that can like jump octaves and stuff. But he ha he's actually remarkably um, versatile in his vocal in his vocal style. Um, like he's kind of like half rapping a bit here. You know what I mean? It's really interesting. Like I, I think the song's really interesting. I like surviving the game more um, musically, but this I I find this one very more interesting. Um, cause this is kind of a bit, feels like more of a modern rock song. Um, yeah, I don't know why I feel that way, but it feels like a more of a modern rock song. What are your thoughts on it so far? Let me know down below. Tell me that you hear them. Tell me you don't hear them. Resist a little longer. Death before dishonor. Nothing doesn't be decided. Cause it won't be quiet when they threaten. Through the hate and the violence. That truth on my side and lost our weapons. Yeah, I like just a simple.
Yo, this one finishes really strong. Um, I re yeah, I really like the song by the end. I love the double time chorus at the end. That, that was a great uh, touch to mix up the song and give it a bit more of a feeling of like a journey to it. Yeah, this one was really good. I, re I really like this song. Um, I still like surviving the game more musically, but this this was a really cool song. I love the imagery too, like of like Egypt and the pyramids and um, like the uh, the pharaohs temples. Like uh, just yeah, really striking imagery that makes the song feel that more and more epic. And skill as a band, I think they're very aware of that because they're like they're very much embracing the epic nature of symbolism uh, with this one for sure. Yeah, this this was this was really good. What were your thoughts? Let me know down below. And I'm not gonna talk about the lyrics with this one because it, it's extremely self evident. Um, it's just it's just a yeah barn burner song it's like it just again i don't think about it cognitively if i make i feel this way you know what i mean it, it it ignited that fire in me without making me cognizantly aware of why and that's what's cool about music is that like sometimes we get caught up in the lyrics um but sometimes it's about the feeling there's like a lot of time the feeling is the lyrics they're synonymous like a good band like some bands will literally make the song feel opposite to lyrics and that's like a, a purposeful thing but most songs like if they're doing it properly the the feeling reflects the lyrics if it's a sappy love song the song feels sappy and love songy if it's a breakup song feel the same way you know what i mean it just you know what the song's about even if you can't if you didn't read the lyrics so this was awesome i really enjoyed this what were your thoughts let me know down below and um as always if you guys uh want to check out all of our full album reactions and if you have any song requests for me definitely join the patreon first link down below and if you want to help out with the youtube algorithm if you enjoyed this video definitely leave a like leave a comment and keep sharing with all of your friends and everybody you know i really appreciate it and that's it and also if you guys enjoy anything i talk about in any of these videos i have a podcast and i'll link that down below and that's it so i'll see all of you guys again tomorrow i love you peace